Using the automatic calibration function is highly recommended to get the most accurate results on the device, and we recommend doing it any time you're setting up a new device for the first time. If you are having difficulty getting your device to do a temperature scan, you may see something like this happening. He's aligned forehead with the, red dot. the device will say to align with the red dot over and over, and that is because the device has not had its temperature offset configured for your location yet. Other reasons why you may see this message would be things such as lighting going into the camera, interfering with the scan. It could be that people are wearing too many accessories such as reflective glasses, earmuffs, or hats. And it could also be because it is very cold outside and people need to linger around for a minute or two to normalize their temperature before they try to take a scan. Another benefit of calibrating your device is correcting consistent high or low temperature readings compared to actual body temperature. As you can see, in this example, the device is reading the person much lower than the actual body temperature when measured by a hand scanner. These issues can be resolved by going through the calibration process. Go into the application settings by doing a right click with the mouse. For devices that have touch displays, instead of right clicking, you can just press and hold at the top left corner of the screen, and then enter the password, which by default is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, under the attribute settings, you will see the temperature setting. Go into that, and you will see the effective temperature. The device will not give a reading on anyone below this temperature, but since it detects motion, it will repeat the message about aligning with the red dot. In most cases, you will want to leave the effective temperature at the default value of 97. Once the device has been calibrated, this will be fine. Additionally, the effective temperature is a safeguard to avoid the system from reading individuals that have recently been in extremely cold conditions, which would cause their surface forehead temperature to not match with their internal body temperature. Click on the Automatic Calibration option in the Temperature Settings. Click the Add button, and then first you set a time range for this calibration to be active. We encourage setting up multiple compensation rules for various time periods throughout the day, as your location may fluctuate in temperature. That is how you can get the best accuracy. If you do this, you must make sure the system time is set correctly in the Android System Settings. However, in this example, we are just going to set up one compensation rule that will take effect for the entire day. So set a range of 0, 0 to 23.59 to create a calibration that is always on. Once you confirm the time range, it will then ask you for a target temperature. Verify your current temperature with a hand scanner, and then put that temperature in as the target temperature. When verifying your temperature with a handheld scanner, a contact or internal thermometer will give you the most accurate readings for calibration. If you do not have one available, then a contactless thermometer should work well enough. After you confirm the target temperature, the device will then change to the scanning screen and do a long scan of you. It will compare what temperature it is reading you at to the target temperature you entered. Based off that comparison, it automatically calculates a temperature offset value. When the scan is finished, it will show you the new temperature compensation rule that you have created. From here, just back out with the arrow at the top left, and then click the Save button at the bottom of the next screen. Select the option to restart the device. After the reboot, you can see the results are now accurate. After you have calibrated, it is best to do some test scans to see if the device is now reading you close to what your hand scanner read you at. If you ever end up resetting the software on the device, move it to a new location, or the ambient temperature fluctuates, it is best to do another compensation or add more compensation points throughout the day. Once calibration has been completed, and you have verified that the results are now accurate, you may want to turn off the temperature display. Simply go into the app settings, into software settings, into general settings, and then into the information display settings. From there, you can toggle 
the hide temperature function back on and save and restart the device. Another way to improve the speed of the temperature scans is by turning off the monocular live option. This is a feature for the system to determine if a person is a live person standing in front of it or a photograph of a person being held up. While we would not suggest turning this off for public spaces, it is something that you can toggle off for improved performance if you do not think that this feature is needed. Additionally, you can turn off the mask detection feature as well if that is not something that you are worried about, and you can also get a small performance gain by doing so. If you require any additional assistance on this process, or any of the other options on the device, please feel free to contact us at support at spintouch.com.